batch jobs in process, orchestration, and monitoring, or the POM application, are typically grouped into a hierarchy of processes, flows, and cycles based on the functionality and expected frequency of execution. There are three types of cycles in POM. Nightly, jobs that run once at the end of the day are classified into nightly cycles. Recurring, recurring or hourly jobs are special groups of jobs which run multiple times a day at scheduled intervals. Ad hoc, the jobs that can run multiple times a day on the need basis and are classified into ad hoc cycles. Such processes are allowed to run independently of other processes in a flow cycle. POM provides the REST service here to initiate the execution of the previously mentioned cycles from external systems. The method is POST. The URL is shown here. Please note, the POM server host and the schedule name are variables that need to be changed according to the target environment and schedule. The HTTP headers include the content type application JSON and the accept version of 16.0. The request body includes the cycle name, flow name, and the request parameters which are comma separated key value pairs. The external system needs to make the service call as shown here to start the execution of a nightly cycle. This example is based on the Postman client, but customers can invoke this service using any other clients like curl and others. First, I'll set the HTTP method to post. Then, I'll enter the URL. Next, I will click the Authorization tab. The authentication type is Basic Auth. I can then enter the username and password. Next, I'll click on the Headers tab to enter the HTTP headers. I can then click on the Body tab to set the type to RAW and then confirm the selection of JSON in the drop-down menu. Next, I type in the values for the cycle name, flow name, and request parameters. I can now click Send. I can see the success response from POM indicating the start of the nightly cycle execution. The steps to start an hourly cycle are similar to executing a nightly cycle, except the change in the name of the cycle and flow. I'll start by entering the name of the hourly cycle and flow name. Then I'll click Send. Here I can see the success response from POM indicating the start of the hourly cycle execution. Finally, the steps to start an ad hoc process are similar to executing a nightly hourly cycle, except that the ad hoc job executions should be done at cycle flow process level, as shown here. Start by entering the cycle, flow, and process name in the request body. Then click Send. I will once again see the success response from POM indicating the start of the ad hoc cycle execution. To ensure the nightly jobs are running, I can log in to the POM UI with a user that has batch monitoring privileges. After typing in a username and password, I will click Login. First, I'll click on the Task icon. Then, click Schedules. Next, I'll click on the Merchandising Schedule. Then, click Monitoring. And finally, Batch Monitoring. Click the Monitoring Cycle drop-down and select Nightly. Then, click on the Refresh button. The Job Run Status column will show the list of jobs that are running or completed. I can also look in the Run Status area to verify that the pie chart shows one or more jobs as running or completed. To see the latest status, click Refresh. As the nightly process progresses, the pie chart will update, reflecting the latest job run status.